All right, folks, welcome back to all the... Whoa, I almost said the wrong one. This is Egnomatica 6. Uh, welcome back. I, I lied last uh, at the end of last episode. I said we weren't going to come back till I had the iron, but unfortunately, I thought, you know what? It'd be a really easy video just to, to make a tree farm. <laughs> so we're going to cheese the, the videos a bit, and I'm going to make a tree farm. Um, honestly, like I said, like I described, not terribly hard to do. It's just It's just a bit of setup, and I was thinking... It uses quite a bit of filters to do it properly, and I don't really show off using a whole lot of filtering with tree farms. I've done it in in, in all the mod six, uh, right at the very start of the of the series, but I never labeled it, and so no one knows which video it is. Not even me. So we are going to make our uh, planter here. That was a very easy one to do, and then we are going to probably pick this up. I think that might be the best way. Because like I said, I want to try to get our whole setup in a uh, in a chunk. And right now we have this room to work with, which is probably fine. Uh, so let's break that. Get rid of those. Like so. Maybe get rid of that as well. God, so many seeds. My inventory hates me. Okay, so we have basically right here to work with. And that's really not a whole lot of room. Should I move this all to another chunk, maybe? Would that be a better option? Because we're, we're basically butting up against the edges of, the, of this chunk. Uh, you know, we might, we might survive here. If I just cram stuff in here just a bit more. Yeah, that's probably fine. if I throw it like here if I throw it here it's two blocks from the edge and two blocks from the edge that's not quite enough we probably should throw it here okay do I have food I have no food on me do I have a food sandwich over here somewhere food any any hmm We'll just eat some bread for now. Okay. Back to the tree farm. All right, so how this is gonna play out is, I'm gonna grab some blocks, because I want to build a little bit here. Does this convert into stone? Sure does. Cool, okay, so how we'll do this is right here will be Oops, let's not do that. Let's do that. Right here we have the trees that we're going to plant. Oh, ooh, crap, I just forgot about that. Uh, these blocks will not be there. Oh, no. Oh, crap, I just thought. Because uh, I said we're going to do a water trap underneath. Uh, we're going to have to move this in its own chunk, probably. Um, so let's actually do this way over here. Yeah, we'll have to do this over here in its own chunk. That's fine. That's fine. We'll give it a full chunk. Uh, because of the water trap, I didn't think about that. These trees, their leaves grow out two to three blocks away. And because of how items pop off, it might even be more room than that. So I'm thinking I'll uh, just harvest everything here. Get rid of this guy because he's en encroaching our area. And that guy as well. Nothing will encroach. Okay. Cool. So now we have our big area. Let's plan this out. Let's go uh, Well, from here. The road. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, four block radius plus one for border. So border. One, two, three, four. Maybe go right here. That should be right. All right, so we'll go right here. We will put our chopper there. Underneath of it will be our fertilizer. Uh, there. And underneath of that will be our planter. And this, I don't think I need to upgrade it by any means. So we're going to do that. And then what I'm going to do next is... Do some digging. 
Let's get rid of this real quick as well. All right. A little bit of dig dug and he's done. What am I looking for? A shovel? Yeah. All right. Let's do small square. Yeah, why not? Do that. Perfect. Okay. Now, if I had some gravel, which I don't because I used all my fuel. Never mind, I have fuel. <laughs> there we go. Eight gravel. Perfect. Uh, the reason is I want coarse dirt. And four will be just enough for what we want. So we're going to do that, 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 and that for coarse dirt. Uh, this will go here. And then... Like that. I'll do... Oh, my shovel broke. Oh, the shovel broke. Oh, the shovel broke. No, I didn't want to place that there. Oh. Sure, why not? We'll make one of those. Nice. That works way better than what I had going. And it has more durability. Alright, so we're going to do a water trap, right? So, what I want for the water trap... Ooh, you know what I didn't think of? It, what if items fall on here? Well, they'll get shot off when a tree grows, though. That's fine. We'll take some inefficiencies. It's, it's whatever. Mind first full again. Go figure. Oh man, I cannot wait till our storage episode. Like, you guys thinking, like, you can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. Uh, yes, it will be beautiful. It will be gorgeous. Okay. Tree saplings, let's throw those in there for now. Oh, wait, hold on. Wrong one. There we go. One, two, yep, perfect. Yeah, got planted. They're growing. Oh no! Oh no! Put the put the tool in, quick. There we go. Whew. We're saved. <sighs> oh, I forgot the filter as well. Crap! Put the filter in. There we go. Back to doing our own business. Cool. Now you'll notice there's charcoal right there. I could make a uh, add a magnet enchant to the to the chopper. Uh, I'd probably have to re-enchant it because I don't have any way to apply the enchantment yet. But as soon as this tree grows, this charcoal will go flying. And so you know, in theory, uh, our, our water collector should be able to grab it. If not, I can maybe put a uh, like a, a wall or something around it, and it'd be fine. But as you see, that tree grew and it popped that one off. So because these trees will grow eventually, uh, we should be all right. Oh, that's not ideal. It popped it onto another block. <laughs> huh, we might have to consider the magnet on the tree chopper. Hmm. I mean, we are getting some down here though. It's not all bad. 11, it's not too bad. Throw those in there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's doing good. Hmm. And now it's just kind of running. So, at this point, what do we do? Well, I need more iron. Oh, wow. We actually have a decent supply coming in. All right. Um, nothing bad to say about that. 
Granted, it's not really going consistently either. I mean, it's it's just whenever we get fuel to it, but that's nothing to, to be shamed about. All right, we need another import uh, because it's gonna pick up stuff and then we need the, the water trap to set up. So we're gonna do that. Put that there. Actually, will I be able to place all of these from up here? Oh, I might be able to. Sweet. Okay, the water trap turned out to work pretty good, it seems. Okay, go away, fly. Shoo, fly, don't bother me. All right, what is going to be in the center here? Wow, all sorts of stuff. Sweet. There we go. And let's throw this on top. All right, cool. So now our water trap is complete, basically. Stuff will go on the pedestal, and we just need to transfer it out. So that's the easy part, hopefully. Provided I can actually get myself out of here. Cool. Okay. So, we have a, a thing. We have saplings, sticks, and charcoal that we're producing a lot of now. So, let's make a few of these item tanks from pedestals. Oops, I grabbed one too many ingots, I think. Uh, let's do that and that. Cool. Okay, let's throw our 50 charcoal here. God, that is burning up charcoal like crazy. Uh, okay, well, that's... Do, 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 like so, and voila, boom, storage tanks. Uh, so these are item tanks from pedestals. They work quite nicely, and I'll just throw these maybe right here. Ooh, actually, you know what I should have done? Another trick uh, for pedestals that, you know, maybe you don't see a whole lot is uh, this guy can turn into a backwards linking tool, which basically links forwards. So this will now link to whatever we are, are going to uh, right click on next or throw in your offhand and place pedestals. And now these will be sent to items. Um, so yeah, there you go. That is a use for your offhand with the tool, uh, the backwards linking tool specifically, as you can now, you know, connect a lot easier this, this way. All right, we'll throw our tank upgrades in here, so that way they can store tons and tons and tons of stuff. Um, I want to say the, the storage is roughly equivalent to like, was it two double chest full or four double chest full, something like that? Like it's it's pretty it's pretty good early on. It's like six, almost seven thousand items early on, so it's it's decent. Um, and as you can see, I think our farm is keep like I think that's keeping up with our farm, which is nice. Uh, what I will do though, or what I might do. is if you don't like the particles on pedestal stuff, when it rains, you can throw paper on the ground and then right click with your linking tool. And it'll create these uh, particle diffusers. Now if you put one in a pedestal, it no longer will use its like particles when it does stuff. Uh, I think I might throw this in here as well, just because that is less particles. Oh, it did not work. Oh, it did not work because it's not an item. It is an upgrade. Boom, there we go. And if I right click on here, does it tell me? It does not tell me. That's okay, I'll live. But yeah, so that just reduces our particles that we have coming out, because these trees produce particles, and I think that might be what's causing some of the lag with, you know, the trees leave things. That is a lot of charcoal we're wasting, though. Well, I mean, it does come off, though, so maybe it won't despawn? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, see, even that fell off. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I, I mean, it's not ideal, but it works. Uh, how much... Ooh, wow. A stack or, or more already. Damn. There we go. All right, cool. So, uh, that's easy enough. So, from here, what do we want? Um, I think what I want to do from here is normal linking tool. 
we want this to receive saplings. That way it restocks uh, its saplings. And uh, to make sure that this only gets saplings from now on, uh, we're gonna use a filter. So grab one of those, grab a piece of wool. There it is. I uh, can't grab a piece of wool. There it is. Make an item filter. Uh, I should be able just to just right click on here. Orange maple sapling, perfect. And this should hopefully now only get orange maple saplings. Uh, if we wanted to be really, really picky, which I will actually, um, we can set up filters for the other two uh, tanks as well. This way we only get these items in here. Charcoal. And sticks. Boom. Done. So now these will only receive those items. If we really wanted to, I could set up another one connected, and then anything that's not these three items could go in like a like a junk chest or, or whatever. But I'm not going to worry about it too much. God, I cannot look at this area because these stupid trees. Um, but as you can see, we are getting some stuff on the outside edge here. It might be beneficial to set up like a a little wall of some sort, basically. So we're not losing a whole lot through it. So maybe I won't concern myself with it too much, but yeah, there you go, water trap. So that's easy enough. Uh, now that all those are filtered, what we can reliably do is I could do this, do that. Leave it hanging for now. Uh, let's transfer from here to here. Uh, this is actually linking it that way. Now I just need a dropper. And I had a dropper. I may have put it somewhere. But I did have a dropper. And I do have a gold ingot. I'm not really terribly concerned with the speed at how fast we drop this one. So I think once per second is probably just fine uh, because it takes two and a half seconds to process and I need at least two coal per process. So yeah, we're fine. No need to upgrade this any faster than what it is. And we'll throw that in there. And now we can power our machine. And uh, yeah, iron for days. I don't think there's any reason to touch this any further than this. Again, like I said, we could build the little barrier here to keep stuff from flying on onto the edges. Um, I mean, we're all, we are losing a little bit of charcoal and stuff doing it this way, but really, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, there's a lot of charcoal there, though. But you know, again, it gets knocked off. It's like that coin game at arcades that you put like coins on a wheel, um, and they you know eventually fall off when you get enough coins on there. Don't know if you're talking if you know what I'm talking about, but kind of that game. But yeah, that seems to work just fine. And what are we doing on charcoal right now? Or empty. Uh, but that's because there is a little under a stack in there. That's not too bad. Uh, what would make this more efficient would be the magnet enchant on the chopper. Uh, that would just have to be done through some more enchanting. Uh, we just didn't get lucky enough to get it, basically. But it is possible. Um, but yeah, there you go. That is our our tree farm with the filters. We could filter this further and, you know, make sure we have a, you know, saplings filter on the uh, planter, or we had like a, like a charcoal filter on this only, or, you know, something like that. Um, we could do stuff like that, but I don't think it's necessary. I really think this will work. So yeah, just, I guess I'll chunk load this. And um, because we're producing eight per two seconds or so. Uh, oh, one other thing. Uh, because this produces eight, and because our dropper can drop up to eight at once, what we could do is we could upgrade the transferring of the pedestal itself. And that requires uh, an emerald. Uh, I don't have any emeralds right now, so not really viable outside of the fact that I can probably make enough paper to do it. Um, we have villagers nearby sort of. Uh, they were found in a hobbit hole. And I think the hobbit hole is this way. It is getting nighttime, but 
But yeah, so we have a hobbit hole nearby. Uh, there's a couple of villagers trapped. One uh, has a, a brewing stand as his workstation, and the other one I made a lectern for. And the goal was I wanted to get the librarian that had a silk touch tr trade book, but I'm pretty sure they reset their trades if you don't level them up. So I'm pretty sure I don't have that anymore. So I'm hoping uh, this guy, yep, 27 flesh. This guy reset his trades. That's unfortunate. I should have made an axe. Piercing three. Expansive trades, though. Holy smokes. I know I'm only come down here for one emerald, but I don't want to. What's the chance I'll get self touch again? Oh. Silk touch is useful in a, in a lot of situations. That's why I'm like wanting it. Uh, there's a lot of things you can automate additionally with the silk touch. Actually, I don't know if I will level this guy up if I even give him two trades worth of paper. Sleight of hand decreases fire delay. Interesting. Oh, that's another mod I want to look at. There is a, a gun mod in here. And uh, for a long range weapon, that's not a bow. It looks like, an op like a kind of a decent choice. React it. Wait, what, what? Oh, okay. Yeah. Nope. That doesn't do me any good. Curse of Binding. Um, would be fun for trolling, that's for sure. Sharpness too. Lame. Actually, a pedestal's enchant one wouldn't be. Ooh, whoa. Uh, tempting, honestly, but. Really? Bookshelves, dude? Come on. Although free books. Not all bad. Inner disruption? Yuck. Honestly, uh, villagers can trade for pedestals and chance as well. So if it, if one came up, I would be down for it probably. At least early game. Multi shot. Interesting. I think there's a crossbow one, isn't it? Oh my god! I am yep. That's the one. God, I wish I had more paper so we wouldn't change it. Uh, I want to trade more with you, but I can't. I want to level that up. God, do I have any? Do I have any way to get more paper? Actually, hold on. If I go reset it today, it's gonna change, isn't it? Fudge. I didn't think about that. It's going to change his trades already. All right. Anywho, uh, I do have my augment. And this is going to go on here. Uh, so now this can send a whole, a whole stack of eight at once instead of just the normal, um, the normal four. So it should work just a little bit faster that way as well. Uh, instead of taking two seconds to transfer everything out, it's going to take uh, less. And, oh, it's going to convert it still just fine right there. Perfect. And it's going to give the stacks a little, a little, uh, little, uh, little, don't know what to call it, like gap in between the stacks, which would be nice. Cool. So, yeah, we're still producing hecka, hecka good, hecka good stuff. Nice. God, what are we doing for iron production? I mean, we've got nine, nine, nine in there right now. How are we doing? 37! I can't mine iron that fast. Oh, man. I mean, I understand we're basically using up coal, charcoal as fast as we are making it. So maybe making this more efficient would be better for us. Oh, especially because there's stuff on there that I can't get off. Um, that is a problem. Okay, so we definitely do need the magnet enchant at some point. Ow! How dare you! A 
Okay, yeah, we definitely need some way to get over there now. Umbrella, go! Oh no. Oh no. I found this umbrella, I killed a mimic and got it as a as a reward. Oh, my inventory's full, I can't pick anything up. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, this does take damage. Oh, that's disappointing. I was really hoping it wouldn't because I want to keep that around. My my new favorite hat. Okay. But yeah, that's how we got emeralds. Uh, not too bad. All right. No. Uh, actually, now now that we have this fully functioning, uh, a bit not perfect by any means, but fully functioning for sure. We now have a good way of getting iron. Like a really good way of getting iron. Yeah, I like it. Mm. <laughs> 42 ingots already. Wow. You know, at first I thought, you know, with crate, this is going to be slow as hell. Not going to be worth it. Oh my word. I can't wait. Alright, uh, I'm pretty excited about our next, uh, our next, up. Uh, our next video will 100%, 100%, no lie, be sorting, finally. I'll do a bunch of prep uh, at a time, mainly just making like chests and uh, and stuff for the sorting uh, room. But yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in a little bit. Have a good day, have a good night, have a good afternoon. Bye-bye.